Charges have been set aside for now against two Hampton teens who face murder charges for killing another teen. Ten Your Side has been telling you about Eric Nixon and Ryan Tabron's case since it first broke last summer. Police say the two were responsible for a shooting near the carnival at the Col Hampton Coliseum. But today, a major decision came down and a bit of relief for both families. Ten Your Side's Andy Fox was in court this afternoon when the judge's decision came down. Andy, what is it? Well, this is what the bottom line is, is that you had a 16-year-old named Ralph Davis who was gunned down at the carnival last May. Now, the two suspects who were supposed to go on trial for that murder basically will not be going to trial at all because the charges against them were null pros set aside. And that means Ralph Davis, there is no one being held responsible for his murder. I asked the assistant Commonwealth's attorney whether she would support dropping all charges against Ryan Tabron on the left here and his friend Eric Nixon on the right due to unreliable witnesses. If they asked for the charges to be dropped, would you be opposed to that? At, at this point, we're getting ready to go into the hearing, and so I can't discuss it until after we're done. When Artisha Todd was done, she clearly asked for the charges not to be dropped, but to be null pros, meaning they could be brought back if more evidence surfaces. Our witnesses, our eyewitnesses, who are juveniles, are just not wanting to participate or wanting to cooperate in this process. Todd's witnesses refused to cooperate with her. They are therefore unreliable. But Todd told Judge Wilfred Taylor the victim, Ralph Davis, deserves more. Where yeah, Ralph Davis was murdered. And what the defense counsel is asking the court to do is to forever ban the Commonwealth from bringing these charges against these two people for a murder. Judge Taylor agreed not to drop the charges, but to basically set them aside for now. Outside, Eric Nixon's mother says the main witness wants to be friends with her son on Facebook. I am very upset because if these witnesses were so terrified, then why in the hell is she befriending my son on Facebook? Ryan Tabron's mother upset I'm too. I'm very disappointed because now in May, if they want to reindict him, it starts the whole process over again. Focus on finding who did the crime for me, for real. Focus on that. Put the time and resources into that, and then maybe you'll get your killers. Now, we've been reporting on this story for months, and there has been problems with this story with those witnesses since the preliminary hearing last July. Now, we reached out to Ralph Davis's family, and they texted back that they have absolutely no comment. But they, again, of course, are devastated again tonight because there is no one being held responsible for Ralph Davis's murder. In Hampton, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.